Okay, hi everybody. How are you guys doing hi. today? Hi. Good, thank you. Good. good, good. I'm great. Listen, congratulations, season two. How exciting. Okay, so Precious, let's just start with you because uh, why do you think we cannot get enough of these fairies and everything that's going on in this fantastic series? Why, do, why are the audience connecting so well with them? Um, well, I think season one in particular was at a time where people kind of needed some escapism. Yes. And I think people really connected with these women. And um, yeah, I think now people just wanna, it's, it's nice to be able to like watch them grow, see their journeys and um, be a part of that. Uh, so yeah. I reckon that's yeah, why. Yeah, no, it. listen, we love it. We can't get enough. Clearly, we can't wait for season two. Um, Alicia, tell me a little bit about, you know, you, you guys, um, obviously, you finished season one. You've got this chemistry. You've got this camaraderie going on. How much does that make your job easier when you jump into season two? And, and how do you find the difference from, like, when you guys are all fresh faces, you had all met in the first season, and now you all kind of know each other? How does that help with what we're going to see in season two? Well, I think in season one, we were all just trying to get to know each other. So we're all putting on different uh, faces and all sorts of things that you do when you meet someone. And then as time goes on, you kind of lose the facade and you're like, oh, this is actually me. This is who I am. And I think we found that in season two um, where everyone didn't have an expectation of each other. We kind of knew um, what everyone was like. And so going on set, it was just like being with family because it was so easy and mm. everyone knew what they expected from each other um, and what they were gonna get. So it was it was so much easier and- Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I'm sure it was an instant camaraderie with all of you on set. Absolutely, I mean, even this season um, with yourself <laughs> and Brandon and the new ones, like- Yeah. It just was so easy and mm. everyone connected as soon as they met. And yeah. um, we've been so lucky. Um, yeah. Casting did a great job. Wonderful. Okay, so Paulina, you're the new girl on the block, Flora. Very excited about this character. First off, tell me a little bit about um, how they initiated you into the gang. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, initiation rate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, I remember I DM'd them because we were we had a five day quarantine. I DM'd the girls just to say hi, I really didn't think they were gonna respond. Um, then they did, we did a little chit chat. I spoke a lot with Alicia and that's when she invited me over to Abby's place and that's where we met. Mm. And honestly, they're so wonderful, all of them. And yeah. it's, it's very refreshing and home-like. That's good to hear. That's really, really good to hear. So tell us a little bit about Flora for, you know, for people who really, um, you know, what, what can we expect? What, what kind of uh, mess is she going to make in season two? For us? <laughs> she's very free spirited and easygoing. And uh, she's very opposite from her cousin Tara. And she's trying yeah. to navigate her way through the suite and find her place. And, you know, you see some sparks fly between Tara and Flora, and they're trying to find their relationship again. Ah, very cool. Very cool. Okay. Now, Precious, I, I have to ask you because obviously this show is based on so many special effects, you know, so many things that you guys are doing. You truly have to use your imagination as to what it's going to look like. Do you ever get used to doing that? Um, yeah, I think <laughs> season one was like, it was all very new to me, I think for a lot of us. Um, luckily, we sometimes do have like visible things present. So, um, for example, like Abby, whenever she's doing her dragon flame, she always yeah. has like an LED kind of light in her hand um, that lights up whenever she's going to do that. So, yeah, I mean, it was tricky it, um, at the beginning, but season two just felt it just felt normal. Like it, it actually, I don't really like don't think about it. Think about it anymore. Yeah. It's just organic. Yeah. Does it ever shock you guys though? Once you see the finished product and you're like. Oh, that's what they were thinking. You know, it's got to be kind of weird because I think this is the hardest type of acting, you know, Alicia, because it, it's like you say, you're using your imagination. You've got to, you know, and, and, and yes, you, you kind of get used to it from season one. So, you know, what you're doing in season two, but like when you see the finished product, it must just blow you away. 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, like, I, there's some things this season that um, will be will be the exact that exact thing because there is some. It, I can't even speak today. Sorry. <laughs> okay, take your time. It's okay. All the things that we had to react to mm -hmm. and like we were given to um, play with was wild mm -hmm. to yeah. be fair and um not something that i would have thought of to help mm -hmm. um initiate that imagination and stuff but it, it did mm -hmm. yeah so paulina what was it like for you to kind of come in and do this type of work and um you know and and get used to that and then see what it looked like like i just find that so cool <laughs> This is my first time doing CGI like this. Yeah. And, you know, it's pretty incredible the hard work that goes into it. And, you know, these ladies, they're pros. They're pros. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Um, but, you know, as <laughs> you're pros, they um, are. You, you all know, are. <laughs> you know, being an actor in, in this industry, you kind of never lose your imagination. Yeah. You, it's like always like a kid like adventure. Um, and even if you're imagining something completely different, it still portrays itself when you see the final product. And sometimes yeah, yeah. it's very cool. I really like it. Just such a great, fun series to watch. So, Paulina, what can uh, what can fans expect in season two? How much different is it than season one? And did you guys, you know, you step it up for this new season in any way? There's so much going on this season. It's so full of drama and mm. relationships and just so much, and everybody's gonna uh, gravitate to at least one or more things. Um, uh, and you really gotta pay attention this season. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Precious, what do you have to say to the fans out there, what they can expect? Um, I think the season's a lot more cinematic. It has such a, it's, it feels a lot bigger. Yeah. Um, I think it's gonna be interesting to hear how fans take to Rosalind now being, our yes. mistress because yes. yes. Dowling's um, way of teaching is very different to Rosalind's way of teaching, mm -hmm. which I think is going to be quite exciting mm -hmm. to see. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's so cool. You guys do such a great job. And um, honestly, um, I, I think this is a school that I would want to attend. I, I think you made me yeah. want to go there. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate Thank it. You. Ladies, Thank you. And uh, have a good rest of your day. Take care.